Do the bikes in your garage look like this? Well, if they do, we're going to show you how to build an ABS bike rack and clean things up. Or at least I'm going to show what I did. Maybe it'll give you some ideas about how to build your own. So this is what I'm doing for a bike rack. Using 1.5 inch, 1.5 inch ABS pipe. I chose ABS because it's strong, it's easy to find. It's not cheap. Each fitting is a, probably a dollar fifty, and the lengths of pipe are a little over a dollar a foot. So there's a lot of fittings here and a lot of feet. It's probably about eighty bucks for all this stuff, which isn't cheap. But the nice thing is, is with ABS you can, or PVC pipe, you can customize the bike rack to your own dimensions. So I have roughly a six foot length of space along the wall here that I have available to me. Uh, so I tried to put enough slots here for five bikes. It's a little bit crowded, it would be nice to have a bit more room, but I don't have more room. And I only have the ability to use this space and I need to put five bikes in it. So you can see what I've done here, the way this garage is, and each garage might be different, so you'll have to reconfigure how you mount it, depending on what your situation is like. But my idea was to tie a string of fittings kind of horizontally along the wall here, and then another set on top here. This is wood. And this is a 2x4 here, so you can tie in with screws into both um, both surfaces. You see what I've done? I have a series of 90 degree elbows on the ends and T's, which I then branch off of, go into another 90, come along with a piece of pipe, another couple 90's, and then come back down and tie into the bottom. That way I'm tied into two areas and I'm thinking that should give it lots of strength and some rigidity. So that's kind of what it looks like from above. Now I haven't cemented this all together yet, it's still somewhat loose. Um, so I can still change the angles. I think I'm going to stick with about a 45 degree angle to the wall, something like something like this so that the bikes can be like parallel parked against the wall almost. That'll save some space as opposed to you know, going perpendicular to the wall where you would uh, have the entire length of the bike sticking out into the garage. Going parallel keeps the bikes a little closer to the wall so that you maintain some walking space and you're not taking up a quarter of your garage with bikes sticking straight out. Well at the same time you can park multiple bikes side by side and get them in and out easily uh, out of the garage to the front, uh, front door there. I've put this one by two inch piece of wood on the ground with a bead of silicone under it to glue it to the concrete. That keeps the wheels from rolling back. See here. Put a bike in and then with that piece of wood stopping the tire from rolling keeps the bike in the rack. Much better. So we'll see how it stands up. But that's what I did with ABS pipe. To keep the bikes neater. Thanks for watching and leave your comments down below. Let me know how you've built bike racks.